back and I'm vibing, I'm chilling, I'm good, I'm kicking back and I'm I'm kicking back and I'm back to my channel and welcome to this new video how are you guys doing i'm doing great <laughs> i just came back from a run and everything um and while i was running i was thinking like oh maybe i have to record a video today i'm feeling pretty good and i am um i decided i was gonna do like a makeup video for you guys to show you guys like how i do my makeup um because this is most definitely not an everyday makeup routine because I don't wear makeup every day. I wanted to show you guys like the makeup routine I normally go for when I'm going out. Whether it's like on a date or for homecoming or stuff. Like I do the same makeup routine every day. Or not every day, every time. But every now and then I'll switch it up. Like my base is still the same but like maybe I'll switch it up like ah oh, glitter or no glitter or do the inner, inner corner, inner crease. No, no, no. I wanted to show you guys so I don't really do a full face honestly most of the time I just focus on like my eyebrows and my eyes but I was thinking maybe maybe after I see how after how I do my eyebrows and my eyes that'll determine how if I want to do a full face or not so yeah this is my makeup bag um I bought her in like the summertime last year this year because it's so much bigger and like seventh grade eighth grade I use this itty bitty small one because I wear a lot of makeup back then and I still don't now but I have my two foundations that I use most of the time I know this one looks so much yellow I used to use this in during the winter time and I use this one during the summertime um so I won't be as yellow I might use this one I think I'm gonna use the MAC one today maybe maybe I like so first off i'm gonna do my brows as you can see like they're naturally like kind of done uh i use my spoolie from when i get my lashes done uh, i use that with all my eyebrows because actually i like them a lot i honestly don't even do too much to my eyebrows um sometimes like during school during the school year i'll take my little um archery brow pen like um, honestly, I used to just use the gel and just go over my eyebrows like that because they're, like, naturally filled in. Every now and then, I'll, like, fill in the ends because, like, you can see, like, um, they're not that filled in. Like, they're clearly sisters. They're not twins. As much as I want them to be twins, they're sisters. So, I'm gonna get started on my eyebrows. Okay, so I kind of did what I was telling you guys about. And, of course, I'll, I always clean them up afterwards anyways. Um, I just really focus on the ends. I really don't worry too much about like up here because they already fade in like really nice. It's just the ends, honestly, that I would like to like work on and everything because, you know, I want my like ends to be neat and everything. I use my LA Girl Pro Concealer and I love this concealer so freaking much. Oh, who's texting? Oh. So honestly, like... <laughs> I keep interrupting myself. There's really not much I do to my eyebrows. I'll also like clean them up at the top. You guys will probably see in a minute how I kind of clean them up at the top. But like it's really like not even that much. And so I always do this to my brushes just out of habit I think. Okay and so now I'm going to do up top too, so I can give it more of a nice, you know, slantish kind of look, even though it's kind of already looking like that, honestly. But, actually, maybe it won't, maybe I won't. No, because they actually look pretty slant. Not Mount Everest, but you know, pretty, pretty good. And, like I said before, I take the concealer up top. I don't know if you guys can see me or not, I'll do this like the, that way. I'll just dab some at the top because my skin is lighter up top. Okay guys, so now, after they're done, they kind of look like, they're still sisters, but maybe they're almost twins, who knows. So now I take the little uh, brow gel, and then I'll go, go over them just so they can like, you know, hold their shape in in case like anyone like, bumps into me. <laughs> like, it's, they won't like, just go smearing off, smearing, smearing off. <laughs> so next now, I always, I move to my eyeshadow and I use the soft glam from Anastasia Anastasia Beverly Hill I don't know why I said Anastasia um so far it's still pretty clean like there's you can tell which colors I use the most obviously I just ordered a new palette anyways I ordered the um 
the James Charles palette. But what I didn't realize until I after I ordered it, I ordered the mini version of the regular palette. So it still has all the colors though. It still has all the colors. It's just smaller now, but it was cheaper. I got it for like thirteen dollars, and it was on sale too. So love that. Now I just need to buy the Jeffree Star one, and I'll be complete. <laughs> I take the color Sienna and I'll go into the outer crease, I guess. I'm legitimately not a makeup pro, so I don't know what I'm doing. And so, um, I can link the video of where I got this from, or where I got the look from, because there's this girl, uh, I forgot her name, honestly, I feel so bad. But this is her, like, natural, everyday makeup look, and I absolutely loved it. And so, I was like, oh, I'm gonna keep that routine it's really really nice <laughs> and so next I go and take my little burnt orange that's what it, that's what the coat's called <laughs> and then I go all the way across and I normally like brush it off and then I Blend it in with the Okay, so next I do a mixture of like two glitters. Wow, do they look even? No, but that's what makeup wipes are for. <laughs> that's what makeup wipes are for. And of course, I'm gonna go back over. Trust the process, trust the process. Okay, like just like how I did in my wig video, trust the process. So I do a mixture of like bronze, I don't know if you can see that, and glistening, cause those, I, those are really nice colors. So I like, I dip into bronze first. And I just really just like pat that over my eye first. And then I take the fluffy side of the brush off. And so, and I go to glistening I take some, I take a little more of glistening than bronze, and then I, of course, dab that in, and then I blend that out too. It's just basically a back and forth thing between bronze and glistening. This is what I do like on some other days. Every now and then I'll do fairy or whatever, or rose pink, because I think rose pink's a really nice color. But it's just, I think I just really go back and forth between them. Uh, until I get the uh, how how I want it to look. As you can see, they don't look even. Even? I don't know. But that's why I always use like my makeup wipes that I got from Target. <laughs> I like I really like these a lot, and I'll clean it up basically. So I'll take it and I'll like you know fix what needs to be like fixed. I don't like just go swipe harsh at it. I like dab it. Cause I don't want to take too much off and I don't want to be too straight. I don't know. I'm not really going for a cut crease, whatever you guys call that. So, so that's how it looks after I, um, dab some of it off, um, cleaned up a little bit. Blood. <laughs> I don't wear makeup too often. So this is the best we do. Okay. And so I'm going to take my favorite set of lashes that I use. I got this with my wig and I gonna apply the lashes on i am so sorry if this is slightly off because my family member called me and i had to take the phone off the um the ring light thing and then uh, it's just messed up <sighs> love that so that's what the lashes look like they're really cute and everything foundation is like my only concern <sighs> foundation is like my only like big thing because like i don't use foundation but I wanted to try contouring and see how that goes. But like, I'm worried because if I mess that up, I'm going to be really, really mad about that. And I don't even have any primer with me. Like, that's my thing. Like, I don't even have any primer. So you know what? Instead of using foundation, <laughs> I can use concealer. Ha, <laughs> JK, we're going to put foundation on. <laughs> um, I just want to put a little on and see how that goes from there. Because I, I don't want to put like too much on.
Okay. I don't really put, I never put too much foundation on. Especially because I just put concealer on the areas. Like, it's giving hot mess. And I love using my beauty blender. And I'm, I'm glad that I did it when it was damp. So I could have like a little, spray a little more water on it. I don't know, I feel like it's better when it's wet than it's when it's dry. Uh, put some at top. Like, this, I really don't think I need a lot of makeup. Like, I don't know, to me, I feel like wearing makeup is like tiring. Well, for me it is, I know it is. Cause like, I don't know how some people like wake up and like just do a full face in like 10 minutes. I wish, I wish I could do that. That must be really nice. Like, I've just, I've always wanted to focus on skincare. And making sure my natural skin was fine. And everything. I don't know what I'm doing right now, but it's something. <laughs> Done with foundation. Um, I like this so much better than my other foundation that I got from the drugstore. I don't know. I haven't used because I always thought it was too yellow until I put it on. I'm like, oh, this is nice. It's more. It's more definitely a more warmer tone, but it's still cute. Oh, hopefully I don't look yellow and then light skin underneath. <laughs> But yeah, I'm gonna put a little more concealer on, at least like underneath my eyes, cause I blend up a little bit. Oh, and I put some like right there too. Honestly, if contouring gets too messy, I'm just gonna like just scrap it, cause like I don't want to like do too much and just like ah. So, we're gonna try, we're gonna try. We're gonna try using contour. I don't, guys, I'm not, a, I know, oh, I mean, it comes like a little guide and everything. I've definitely tested this out before, but it's just like, oh, okay. So, put some underneath the chin, or like, going around. So next, I'm gonna go in with my little lip scrub that I use, my nail. <laughs> Uh, my nails are so funny. I don't know why I find my nails funny, but I do. And this hair scrub is really good. It's, nope, Tree Hut Sugar Lips. And it's peppermint, and it smells so good, and it tastes good, too. You can eat it. So next, I'm going to take my Fenty Beauty Foundation. I don't really use setting powder or anything. I use setting spray. Setting spray is from the Mario Badescu. I really like that a lot. That one works really good. <laughs> it is. It's a little tiny. I know. I know. Um, my boyfriend and um, their family, they got like a whole little Rihanna set for me and it was so cute. I don't really like this. I don't, really don't like this fan brush because it's so thin. Like, we make do. We make do. You know, we make do. So I, always, I put some on my nose. I really, really... This is like my first time trying that too. I feel like I have a better foundation, a uh, better uh, highlighter in here, but... Oh, here it is, here it is, here it is. I like this highlighter. It's from Ulta, cause I'm cheap. <laughs> I really like that highlighter better. It's... And sometimes I feel like if it's like too out, I'll pat it around. So you go everywhere else on my face. Like my nose is like shiny. Cause I use like literally three different uh, highlighters on it. And I have highlighter right here too. Where I didn't want to put highlighter, but I did anyways. Don't know why. I'll put like a little bit of bronzer and I'll go around. For the longest, I did not know what the purpose of bronzer was. 
look, I don't even know if I'm doing this right. Honestly, I'm, tell I'm telling you, I'm not a makeup person. Like, I'll do my makeup. Like, I want to learn how to do my makeup. But, like, it just takes so much time and energy. So, hopefully, I'm putting on the bronzer right. Guys, I don't even know if I acknowledge this. But, like, if you can hear the little vacuum thingy. Our basement flooded. It's a little story. It sucks up the water and everything. So, what I like to use on my lips is, like, a variant. I really like the NYX Buddy Gloss so much. I take my NYX, you know. And what I really like about NYX is that uh, I really like the color gloss so much. And sometimes I'll go a little bit over my lips, but I try not to overline my lips too much. And then I'll go back with my makeup wipe and I'll do a little touch up here and there. Like I can tell with like the lip gloss. I got a little too excited. <laughs> Overlining. The edges. Gotta do the edges. Okay. What I use on my edges is style back there because I really like style back there now. Let's bring these down. I, I hate doing foundation. I don't know like how some of you guys like do your foundation because then it mixes with the stuff and it's so irritating. Like, ugh. Okay guys, that's it for my video. This is my final little look of like how I like to uh, do my makeup sometimes. <laughs> Again, not an everyday look, but when I, special occasions I guess. Like I said, I wanna learn how to do more makeup and stuff. If you guys have more ideas for me or more makeup ideas, ideas for videos, whatever you want, let me know down in the comment section below. Other than that, guys, <laughs> thank you so much for watching this video. Please, please, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you already haven't and also share this video around with other people i'm very happy with the look and everything it looks cute i'm sorry i'm looking in the mirror i'll turn this light off but yeah guys i'm very happy this is like the first time i've done like a full full face in such a long time so yeah my nails look busted i have to order some more a colored acrylic and everything so i can start doing my nails again it's just a hot mess but hopefully my face isn't thank you so much i love you all bye